I'm going to cut straight to the chase. If you aren't in my Discord server, you're missing out severely. The best alpha in crypto takes place within these channels, including coin discussions, market analysis, degen behavior, and more. It's completely free, and I look forward to speaking with you inside. If you are still solely choosing stocks over crypto, you could be missing out on the most significant investment opportunity of our lifetime. Look, stocks are great, they've built wealth for generations, but right now we're witnessing a financial revolution, one that's not tied to Wall Street or traditional banking. Cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology are giving everyday people access to tools that were only previously available to big institutions or wealthy investors. If you are new here, a quick background on me is that I have been investing in crypto for over five years and I am a qualified financial advisor in my day job. The reason I make a point of stating this is because there's known to be a lack of credibility and trust in the crypto space. Lots of scammers, a lack of transparency, plenty of greed and so on. I hope that my credentials and experience might be able to separate me from the herd somewhat. Whilst making money in this space and in life is important, do not underestimate the significance of trust. I'm not going to give a salesman typical online guru pitch and say follow me to guarantee your success or anything along those lines, but you can trust me to be honest and in the crypto world that's worth its weight in gold. So we all know what stocks are, right? Ownership in a company providing potential dividends and price appreciation. The concept of stocks and shares has been around for hundreds of years. The purpose of this video is to be short and simple. A full analysis comparison will take many, many hours, so I'll stick to the essentials. Let's use the S&P 500 for comparison, one of the most popular indexes in the world, representing the performance of the largest 500 companies in the US. We can see over the last 10 or so years, we've averaged around 15 to 20% annually. Pretty decent returns, right? It's outperforming inflation, which is the key, whilst also providing real growth on top. The returns have also provided a lot of stability, which is crucial to many investors. It's tried and tested, traditional, most people understand it, you can't really go wrong, and it's considered relatively safe. But safe doesn't always equal the best returns, and that's where crypto flips the script. Over the last 15 years, cryptocurrency was introduced to the world, the two biggest being Bitcoin and Ethereum. These are decentralized assets, not tied to companies or governments, and instead their value comes from adoption, innovation, and scarcity amongst other factors. Looking at their charts when compared to the S&P 500, what two things stand out? Well, for one, explosive growth, right? In the last 10 years, with the S&P returning 200%, Bitcoin has returned 11,500%, and Ethereum over 200,000. But also a lot of volatility, which can be a deterrent for some and an attraction for others. Of course, if you aren't comfortable seeing the value of your portfolio fluctuating massively, it won't be for you. But for those that sniff opportunity, they will take the risks on these massive corrections to buy more. So while stocks have been steady, crypto has been exponential. But is the risk worth the reward? Let's not bullshit here. The biggest allure of crypto is the explosive growth potential. If we focus solely on Bitcoin, we can see the returns it's offered over the last 10 years makes traditional stock market gains look microscopic in comparison. This chart helps quantify the research further. Let's say you put 10 grand in both Bitcoin and the S&P 500 in June 2014. 10 years later, your value in stocks will be worth 34,000, whilst your Bitcoin would be worth over 1 million. And not just Bitcoin, that's obviously the biggest and most well-known cryptocurrency, but there are hundreds of crypto projects out there which have provided similar returns and there will be many more in the future too. One of the main focal points of my channel is to find and analyse these potential gems to help provide us with incredible returns, so subscribe if you'd be interested in seeing that. The returns are the most obvious advantage crypto has, but one that isn't spoken about often is accessibility and of course decentralization. Stock markets operate on traditional business hours, 9 to 5 or whatever, which can be limiting depending on your lifestyle. For comparison, the crypto market never sleeps. This 24-7 accessibility allows for liquidity at all times, giving both traders and investors more flexibility. Linking to this is decentralization. Stocks are controlled by centralized companies and subject to regulations, whereas cryptos like Bitcoin are peer-to-peer -peer networks without a central authority. This is definitely a double-edged sword to some degree, but again, this provides more sovereignty to you as an individual. Beyond being just a currency, other coins aside from Bitcoin are enabling revolutionary technologies, from smart contracts to decentralized finance to artificial intelligence. Crypto is reshaping industries that stocks can't directly touch. It's a common misconception that all cryptos are a form of currency, a value of exchange. All it takes is for you to have an open mind towards educating yourself on new topics and you'll quickly see that this industry is going to change the world. That isn't the point of this video, so I'll be brief, but when you have projects reshaping the future of AI, ensuring fairness and transparency, projects connected to real world assets looking to combine tokenization with the blockchain, the DeFi sector allowing fast, secure, permissionless financial transactions to take place, reshaping how people borrow, lend and earn interest with no bank required, you can see that there's plenty going on here. 
I view all of this as exposure to innovation that traditional stocks simply cannot offer in the same way. But let's not forget the risks, and with crypto, they come in abundance. The volatility is one already mentioned, and having the price fluctuate drastically in short periods of time isn't beneficial to one's portfolio. There have been times where Bitcoin's price has dropped 50% in weeks, a big red flag for any investment. Ironically, the volatility and risk is actually mitigated somewhat if you stick to Bitcoin and Ethereum compared with other altcoins. Lack of regulations means anyone can create their own project. They can create the token, market it, convince a community, have it listed, then all of a sudden, bam, it rugs and investors lose all of their money. That's the increased risk many take in the crypto industry and it happens on a very frequent basis, unfortunately. Of course, we saw what lack of regulation and transparency can lead to with the infamous FTX collapse, losing investors billions of dollars. This is exactly why stocks are still relevant, with a long history of providing steady returns representing ownership in established businesses with real cash flows, dividends, and predictable growth patterns. I should also point out that you can make crazy high returns by investing in individual stocks, taking Nvidia for example. However, the majority of people don't actually do this and prefer to invest in collective indices instead, given their lower risk tolerance. You could also argue that Nvidia's recent rise was more of a fluke, something not seen too often in the stock market. For those with a low risk tolerance, a heavier allocation in stocks makes sense. But even then, crypto has its place, especially for those seeking high growth opportunities. I'm not going to waste both our times talking about diversification and its benefits. I'm sure we've all heard that a million times over. Instead, I'm going to quickly lay out some scenarios. You may or may not fall into them. Before we do that, I've mentioned establishing your risk tolerance as being key to any portfolio, be it stocks, crypto, property, anything. Here are some factors I would look at when constructing your own portfolio. Remember, everyone's circumstances are different, therefore a bespoke individual solution is required. Having analysed my audience stats, I can see there is a huge range in terms of ages, from below 18 to over 65. The majority do fall in the 25 to 55 age bracket though, therefore I have factored this in to create four hypothetical scenarios. Also, for ease, I'm going to exclude other investments such as property, gold, physical assets and such. That again would need a much longer video. Starting off with scenario one, you're in your 20s or 30s. You may have no rent or mortgage, plenty of disposable income. You might even be living at home with your parents, but crucially, you have a very long-term time horizon for your investment. This is where I encourage maximum risk, 90, maybe even 100% into crypto. Fortune favors the bold, and given your young age and lack of dependence, you can afford to take on a lot of risk and absorb any potential ramifications. Unless you have really high capital, I'd avoid Bitcoin and Ethereum and dive into the world of other altcoins and even memes to try and catch those 10 to 100x returns. Crypto is the highest rewarding asset class out there, therefore if you win here, you'll win big and can make the rest of your life a lot easier from a financial perspective. Moving on to scenario 2, aimed for those in their 30s or 40s. Interesting period here, you may have just gotten married, bought your first house, you may be renting, therefore your risk appetite could have decreased slightly with higher expenditures, lower disposable income and potential dependence. However, you are technically still considered young for investing and therefore can maintain that long term time horizon. You can still afford moderate to high crypto exposure, but you may consider some stocks in there for stability. For these reasons, we offer a lot of the risk, but still keep the majority in crypto. 60% crypto, 40% stocks could be an example. Scenario 3, getting on to 40s and 50s. Unfortunately, now we're getting to the ages where we have to reduce our degenerate behaviour as much as we can. I'm going to assume you'll have children, a mortgage, and you're probably thinking of retirement. Therefore, you can't be going gung-ho with your funds at risk of volatility and reducing its worth. Your investment time frame has reduced to medium and you're no spring chicken anymore. Therefore, a more conservative approach may be required to ensure that you have the retirement you want, whilst also giving yourself exposure to potential high growth. Again, to reiterate, these are purely hypothetical numbers, but a 40% crypto, 60% stock split could be a nice balance of growth exposure with an emphasis on stable, more steady growth. Finally, we got scenario 4, 50s and 60s, and this is essentially retirement. You may be of older age, not working, maybe relying on your pension or 401k. I think it's fair to say that it's probably not in your best interest to be a DJ with your finances now, and a conserved approach is required. Significant exposure to stocks, perhaps even fixed interest securities to reduce volatility and give you stability. Some crypto, mainly Bitcoin, is still there as a hedge against inflation and allowing growth. An 80-20 split in favour of stocks could be seen as reasonable. 
These scenarios are just for present times, as we get more regulation in the crypto space, this would impact figures, should probably make a point of saying that this isn't financial advice, just for fun and for illustrative purposes guys. You may fall into one of the hypotheticals, you may not. You may feel split between two, or it could just open up some new perspective for you. If you want a more personalized bespoke opinion, feel free to reach out. But anyway, that's the video wrapped up. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and also join my free discord. I'm a lot more active in there. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Take care.